we got going in the shop right now is rebuilding this these CX-131 case IH disc spine. We took the steel rolls out and we're going to put rubber rolls in. Uh, rolls are ready to go in, but when we had the rolls out we started working on the cutter bar and decided to get it finished first so it's a little easier to work on without having the rolls in your way. So on a disc spine, which is a hay bind type mower, disc rotate like such and cut the crop. So we've got it completely tore down to do yearly maintenance on it, inspect it, and replace any parts that may wear before they, or they're failing before they wear out and fail in season. So pretty simple, take apart, you take this cap off with four bolts, take the turtle shell off, which has the knives attached to it off, get you down to the gear module, and then uh, inside here's a gear box. Here's where we've torn out to replace. So. They drive from the ends with the gears I showed earlier, turning them in between each one. And then you have this top cap, which is sitting underneath this drive hub that's splined. And these actually have the shock pro option, which is less spline. So the spline shear instead of tearing out your gearbox when you hit a rock or other foreign object that you got that there and doesn't belong. That's what you saw sitting there. So this is all off. You got a gear here that sits on that gear to run it like that. And there's two bearings inside here. We got a couple of these top caps over there on the table to rebuild. So here's your worn out gear box. It's got end to end play. Uh, maybe you can see that. Bearings are worn, up to worn. And then these here are spacers that go between the gearboxes with a little short drive shaft in between them. Going between those, that half the cutter bar didn't need any work done on it. It was all good yet. We got our underneath skid plates right underneath the gearbox like that. And then the front rock guard holds the gearbox like that. So those will all get put back on when you get the new gearboxes. We're sending these in to trade with the dealer for reman gearboxes, which means they take our core and remanufacture it and we get another outer box with new parts in it. Um, waiting on parts, story of my life. We're going, let's go. We've got the top cap bearing housing here. We're gonna wipe it clean. We've already drove the races out of it. And we're gonna put new races in it. Using genuine Temkin roller bearings. Manufactured right here in Crawford County. Grandpa wouldn't have nothing but that, so that's what we're going to use today. He was a Timken man for about 40 years. We get our bearing race driver. Wah, wah. Video. You know I'm not going to cut that out, right? It wasn't my phone, I scorched you. My camera. It's And then you can see that it's seated on the ring between the two. Put that aside. Got 
our gear for the four. Got a 67048 bearing. Who made that bearing? Temkin. Maybe Temkin will sponsor our videos. Put that down in there like so. Am I going to be cutting this part out of the video? Probably so. It's just going to magically get on there. Alright, so now we've got that bearing pressed on there. We're going to put our spacer ring on between the two. Like such. Check for play. Nope. Rolls around good. Put a seal in it. Just get the grease gun. Put some grease in there first, quick. Seal. A little something to help the seal slip in. Top cap ready to go, Mo hey. Yep. It's good, no play. So, spray it down a little to keep from rusting. What are you spraying it down with? WD 40. WD 40 and Tempkin Parts. That's American. Washer spacer in yet? Displaying the washer. So you gotta get it. Just so. Not so much just so to this one today. Here we go. Rainbow Hay. Put me in, coach. You know that was really cheesy, right? I know. <laughs> Well, you put one of those dry hubs on it, shock grows, and you put it in your gearbox like that and take that shipping plate off. But right now it's going in the parts wagon until my help shows up and wants their wagon back. So we'll put it in there to keep it clean. That's cute. 